Hi, so I'm actually not hungry right now, <laughs> but I wanted to make this video. So, I got some mango, like the previous video. So, in this video, I mean, you can get your food and we can eat together. I'm eating mango, but you can eat anything. And let's just talk. I'm actually not hungry, but I want to eat mango. So, let's go. Good. <laughs> so, the topic of today's video is defending what you believe, knowing what you believe, and knowing how to defend what you believe. Okay, let's turn back the time. This happened, I think, five years ago. So, I was 13 years old. So just for a little bit of background, my dad is not a Christian. He is a Sikh. He his his religion is Sikhism, and basically sometimes we like to talk about religion. I mean, he likes to talk about religion, and then yeah. So basically, one day I don't know how this suddenly came about. I don't know how we start suddenly started talking about Jesus and stuff. But he we started talking about it. He started talking about it, I guess. I don't know. And then I asked him because... Here's the thing about Sikhism. If you guys don't know, Sikhism is a religion that believes that every religion can lead to God. So, yeah, it's if you're Christian, Muslim, whatever it is, as long... I guess it's like as long as you want to find God, every all of these ways, religions are ways to find God. And you can find God through every religion. That's why Sikhism, actually, they respect every religion. And actually, you can go inside the Gudwara. The, the Sikh temple is called the Gudwara. And anyone can go in. So I've been in there also, even though I'm a Christian. And Muslim, anyone can go in. They they believe like that. So that's what they believe. Every religion can lead to God. So me, 13 years old, <laughs> I asked my dad. But then why did Jesus say that he is the way, the truth, and the life? Which, by the way, is a very good question. I don't know how I thought of that, but okay. <laughs> so I asked my dad. And he told me this. He said, that's a good question. Maybe he only meant that for the Israelites. So at that time, I never used to read the Bible. <laughs> I didn't know anything about the Gospel. And, I mean, I was a Christian, but I didn't used to read the Bible. And so I believe him. I didn't know how to answer, basically. You know when you don't know how to answer a question, so you're just like, ah, that makes sense. But then, <laughs> I mean, in that verse, Jesus was answering his disciples. He wasn't even talking to the Israelites, right? But basically, at that time, I didn't know, okay? So I just knew the verse, but I didn't know the whole chapter, or the story, or whatever, right? And I couldn't answer my dad. I just thought he was right, because I myself didn't know anything about the gospel. That's what we're talking about today. Knowing how to defend your faith, because at that time, I didn't know. But actually, in the Bible, it says that you are supposed to defend your faith. First Peter chapter 3, verse 15. But in your heart, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. So it continues from there, you can read the whole thing. But basically, that's, that's you know, you have to be prepared to give a reason. Because people are going to ask you, right? People are going to ask you stuff, why you believe in this. And you have to be prepared to give a reason. Because if you can't give a reason, it just, it's just like you don't know why you believe. And that's what exactly happened to me. Because I myself never used to read the Bible last time. As I do now. Now I do, but last time I didn't. And... I didn't know how to answer, you know, and to be honest, most of my life, I never really understood the gospel. I only got it this year. Can you believe it? I only got it this year, 18 years old, and I've been a Christian for how many years? And going to church for how many years? I actually only understood the gospel this year. Like, I kind of understood it last time, but I didn't understand, you know, and then now I fully, fully understand why Jesus is the only way to heaven, why he was the sacrifice, why God sent him, and all of that stuff. Basically, you know, the gospel, I finally understand it. And that's the thing, when you yet yeah, when you yourself don't understand it, then you don't know how to answer, you know, because people are going to ask you stuff. Why? Why is Jesus the way? Why, you know, why, do, why is it only through him that we can be saved? Why only through him we can be forgiven? People are going to ask you that, because, to be honest, as an outsider, looking at this, looking at this, and like, it doesn't really make sense, right? What? God sent his son, and only through him I can go to heaven, you know? So like, of course they're gonna ask stuff, they're gonna wonder, right? And they're gonna ask you, because you are the Christian, you are a believer, like, why do you believe in this? And you have to be prepared to give an answer, you have to be prepared to tell, you know, to say why you believe, and I think we should all like, prepare that reason. I, I think, first of all, we should be prepared to explain the gospel, and not only that, not only must you be able to explain the gospel, not only must we be able to explain the gospel, but we should also be able to give a reason why we believe. Like, of course, yes, you know, Jesus died for us. And you get, and, and, you know, because we all don't deserve to go to heaven, and it's by grace we have been saved, and through Jesus you can be forgiven. You can explain, explain all of that, but then people are going to ask you, okay, okay, I get it, so why do you believe in it? So I think we should all have a reason. We, we all, I'm sure you have a reason why you believe what you believe. Even I haven't really thought about it yet. 
I should hurry up and think about it because people can ask you any time. You know, people can ask you, why are you a Christian? You have no answer? How? 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 Do you, you know, then people don't get it and people don't get to hear the gospel just because you couldn't tell them. You know, we are the ones supposed to tell people. If not, people don't know, right? And people can't be safe. So we are supposed to tell them. How can we tell them if we ourselves don't know? And that's why it's so like dangerous. All of these years, I didn't really understand. I didn't really understand what I believe. I just went to church, went to all this Christian stuff, and I kind of believe in... I mean, I did believe in Jesus all of these years, but I didn't really get the part where, why is it through Him that I can go to heaven? You know, I didn't get that part. I'm serious, I never got that part until this year. And the reason why I got it this year is because I decided to feed myself with the Word of God. I, this is the year when I actually started to read the Bible and actually started to, you know, watch Christian videos. And uh, by the way, please be careful. I mean, it's very good for you to watch Christian videos and all that stuff. But be careful because for the longest time, I used to watch this for months. I don't want to say what church it is. I don't want to say it. But it's like one of those mega churches and they have a YouTube channel and I used to watch the sermons by them. And for the longest time, I didn't know that it was the prosperity gospel. So just be careful. You know, just make sure it's good to watch Christian videos and all of that and Christian shows or, or movies or whatever. But uh, you know, some there are so many false teachings out there. So I think it's better for us to feed ourselves first, and also like when you watch those videos or whatever, check back. You know, check with this the Bible because you never know. And also, what's dangerous is I also used to promote that channel, that church, prosperity gospel channel that I was watching. I used to promote it to my friend. You know, so the thing is, we should also like check. You know, so that. We don't accidentally spread that false message to other people as well. I was asking my friend to watch it too because I thought it was good. Now I know it's a prosperity gospel. I was gonna talk, but then I want another one. <laughs> so I know that I probably wasn't the only one who didn't understand my faith for the longest time. I know maybe some of you, maybe you're Christian watching this and you yourself don't really know what you believe. So I would encourage you, just find out. You know, ask God to show you and read the Bible and because this is the only way where you can get it by the way can't find it anywhere else and you know just we need to know what we believe you can't just tell people because that's what I used to do I thought I thought that I could just tell people like hey believe in Jesus and you'll be safe but I myself didn't really know what I believe so make sure we all just need to like really sit down and ask ourselves do why why am I a Christian why do I believe in the gospel you know and, and do I even know the gospel fully do I, do I understand it? You know, because it's so easy to just tell people, believe in Jesus and you'll be safe. But think about it, if you are the, or put yourself in their shoes, and if you are on the receiving end of that, will it make sense if you just know, believe in Jesus and you'll be safe? Because that's what I used to know. That's all I knew. I, I believe, I'm going to go to heaven because of Jesus, right? Because of his sacrifice for me. But it doesn't really make sense to be, uh, imagine yourself on the receiving end of that. What? Believe in Jesus and I'll be safe. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to anyone who's never heard the gospel before. Maybe it makes sense to you because, you know, you you went you go to church and all of that. But to someone who's never heard the gospel before, do you, do you really think they're going to get it? They're not going to get it, you know? And sometimes it takes a few tries also to get it. Like I said, it took me, I mean, it's been all these years I never really got it. And only now I got it. And I've been a Christian this whole time. Imagine the people who are not Christians. You know, it's going to take them a few times to get it. It's so easy to just say, believe in Jesus and you'll be safe. Come and be a Christian. But if you are, put yourself like, on the receiving end of that, would you really get it? You wouldn't. You know, we need to explain the gospel. We need to explain why we need Jesus. And that's something that I had to learn. And that's something that I only found this year. Like, why we actually need Jesus. And... It's mind-blowing. I might make a video about that on how I would explain to people because we need to explain it, you know, directly from this. And we need to really, really explain it. And and the thing is, we also need to know the gospel really well because people are going to ask questions. People are going to poke holes in your story and they're going to see the inconsistencies or whatever if you don't if you don't know things. But at the same time, I don't want anyone to feel pressured. I don't think we should feel pressured to know everything. Because we learn everything. I mean, the more we read the Bible, the more we know, right? How many times did I take the Bible in this video? The more I read this, the more I know. 
and I'm, I'm learning new things every day when I do my Bible study and I think it's okay as a Christian to, ex- to admit sometimes that there are things that you don't know like if people ask you about topics that you don't really understand yet and you haven't really read into the Bible yet, I think it's okay to say I don't really know anything about that yet but I'll read into it you know I'll pray about it and I'll you know I'll, I'll learn about it you know don't think don't think that as a Christian you need to know every single thing it's good <laughs> if you read the whole Bible and you know how to answer every question. But, you know, as someone who's still growing and you don't know anything, everything yet, I think it's okay to say we don't know. Because that also shows that, you know, we also, we're, we're still learning, you know. And as a Christian, that doesn't mean we, we necessarily know every single thing. There are still topics in the Bible that I still don't know. You know, there are still topics that I don't know how to answer if someone would ask me, like, stuff about modesty, I'm not really sure, you know, stuff about... I don't know slavery you know I still have to read into that I'm understanding a little bit more about what the Bible says about slavery but you know I haven't really fully understood it yet so I think it's okay sometimes to say I don't really know yet but I'll read into it you know don't just leave it there though okay don't just say I don't know and then no say I don't know but I'll go read into it and you go and find out for yourself and you also learn stuff from that like wow that's what the bible says you know so I think but but for the most part you know I just we should know what we believe know the gospel at least know why Jesus is the way why we can't go to heaven without Jesus because that's what people are gonna wonder about our faith because that's like the, the, the centerpiece of our faith Jesus and going to heaven through him you know without Jesus we can't be saved so people are definitely gonna wonder about that because I myself used to wonder about that but I never used to seek the answer until this year yes I used to ask I used to wonder like why is Jesus the way to heaven but I never really looked into the bible and only this year I did and I was like oh oh okay and you know all through all those videos and all of that you know you gotta feed yourself first before you feed other people and yeah like the bible says we always need to be prepared to defend our faith defend why we believe what we believe and not how to say don't give way i don't know how to say it but you know we need to defend not in a bad way but in a good way in a nice way defend like for example i think last year me i have i had an online friend and she asked me why i don't support uh lgbt and you know i said because of the you know the bible says it's wrong and i didn't back down in a nice way though we had a nice conversation it was really good and it shows that you know if you if you are nice about it if you're not being mean please don't be mean christians please don't be mean that's not what oh by the way <laughs> right after that uh part where the, the part where i read to you just now the bible first right after that it says you know do so in a in a, in a good way you know here verse 16 Keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against you good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. So, you know, we also need to be nice about it. Okay, don't be weak. Okay, don't don't be rude about it. Okay, that's not how you want people to perceive Christ. Okay? I want again. So, yeah, me and my friend, that Christian, she's a Christian who actually supports LGBT, we actually had a good conversation about it. So, that really shows how, you know, you can actually have a conversation <laughs> with with someone who doesn't agree with what the Bible says. You can actually have a conversation, but don't back down. I never once said that, you know, I support LGBT or I never once said that God wants you to be gay or whatever. I still stuck with it. I still stuck with what the Bible says. I still stood by what the Bible says. But we had a good conversation. So yeah, basically, I guess that's what this video is about. <laughs> I just remember that memory from five years ago about how I couldn't even answer my dad about that thing. And, you know, I've really grown now, but I know there's a lot more to learn. Like, there's so, still so much about the Bible that I don't know. And that's the beauty of it. I think that, you know, the Bible is so deep. And I feel like even if you read the whole Bible, you're still gonna, like, read it again and find new things. Because... It's just that deep. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, some things, you know, it's like so deep. The Bible is just amazing. I don't think there's any other book like that. I mean, I don't know. I haven't read every book in the world, but this book makes me think. <laughs> it's so amazing. So yeah, basically, what, what message do I want you to get from this video is if you're a Christian and you still don't really understand what you believe, really pray about it and, you know, ask. I mean, ask your church, you know, ask your community to help you and... You know, pray about it and read, actually read, feed yourself with his word. Because that's the best way. You need to read it for yourself. Then you'll understand it, right? And also, 
always ha have a reason. I also have to do this. I have to prepare a reason why people will ask me why I believe what I believe. And also prepare a reason why you believe and also be prepared to explain the gospel to someone. Because I think it goes together. Because the gospel is, you know, what the Bible says and the truth and all that. And then the reason is why you believe in it. You know, why? Why? And once I figure that out, I might make a video. And of course I'll make a video. <laughs> on this channel so yeah that's all i want you to get from this video we need to feed ourselves really feed ourselves with the gospel because people are gonna ask us why we believe in this so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it blessed you in any way i feel blessed through this video and also i got to eat some mango so you know it's a win-win situation if there's only one piece i'm gonna eat it around now now the cat in me came out wow <laughs> So yeah, comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you again in the next video or in another video where we share food again. What do you eat in this video? If you ate with me, please comment down below. And if it was fruits, if it was mango, please comment down below. Anything, just comment down below. Okay? <laughs> see you in another video where we share food or another video that where we just talk. Okay? Bye-bye. God bless your day, your week, your month, your year, your life. God bless you and your families and don't forget Jesus loves you so much. One last thing.